All right, so you've done a couple of assignments and you've entered the grades into Power Teacher. Now you want to get in there and see what averages are. Pretty simple process of a couple clicks. Let's get to it. All right, once you've logged in, you want to be heading over here into the left hand menu over here and clicking on grading. In the menu that opens up, you want to be looking for score sheet. So just go ahead and click on score sheet and that will open up the score sheet page. Okay, so what you're presented with is a list of all of the assignments that you have graded. And what we want to do is we want to see the average of our assignments so that we can get a good feel of how the class did. All right, so to get that average, it's actually displayed as a mean, medium, and mode. What you want to be do is coming over here to the uh, right-hand side of your screen and clicking on the clog. And once you see that in the uh, drop-down menu, you just want to be clicking on Show Metrics. So just go ahead, click on Show Metrics, and there you have it. You see the mean, medium, and mode for not only the course as itself up to that point for the semester or for the quarter, depending on your view that you're in, as well as all of the graded assignments that you have had, both formative and summative. Okay, as you can see here in my example, I don't have mean, medium, and modes for all of my assignments, and that's just because for the assignments that are just like homework assignments that I don't grade, I'm just checking whether they did it or didn't do it. There is no mean, medium, and mode for those, obviously. And as you can see here, for summatives or formatives that I do grade, it gives me that that average score, mean, medium, and mode, whatever you're looking for. The other option I want you to look at here is, um, as you can see, when you uh, get deep inside the semester or the quarter, um, the grades begin to uh, stack up, and it begins a little hard to find most recent uh, assignments that you've done. So one option you can do here is, as you can see, the assignments are listed in terms of earliest first. That's by default. So whatever you did back in August, that's what's showing up first. And if you want to see the most recent formatives or summatives, all you need to do is come back to the clog in the upper right hand corner, click on that, and then come down to the option here, show assignments most recent. And you click on that, it'll put everything in reverse order, and the most recent assignments will be showing up first. So that's really helpful, helpful for getting to what was done recently. Your other option for filtering um, what work you're looking at is going again back up to this clog and you can click on show filter and what that allows you to do is filter the work by as you can see by either day week or month so if I just want to see what uh, happened to my class uh, this past week I can just go ahead and click on uh, last week and click on apply and then boom, you can see that my list gets shortened down to this is what you assessed this past week, okay? And of course, you can go back um, to the last month or even just what's on that day. So it helps you just organize everything and um, gives you a better uh, picture of what uh, happened during the desired time period. And if you wish to get back to that full view where you see everything, you can just unclick everything or just hit clear. And once you do that, boom, you're back to that default uh, view. And you'll notice that um, it's back to that most recent first because I still haven't changed that. And if I wish to change it back, I can just go back up here to my clog and click on that. And then just click on show assignment from least, okay? Um, so there you have it. There's a couple options you have for uh, the score sheet view. Hopefully it makes your uh, time a little easier as well as allowing you to get a snapshot of your classroom to get an overall feel of um, the averages for your formative as well as summative assignments. All right. If you have any further questions, just drop me a note or as always, come by my classroom and uh, we can talk. Have a good one.